I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you some really awesome Logic Pro tricks for when you are editing voiceovers or perhaps a podcast. And I think this will be really helpful for you and will speed up your workflow. So let's jump right into it. So I have this voiceover that I've recorded right in Logic that I'm going to be using for a short form video. This is what it sounds like. If you don't believe in yourself, then you have already lost. A lot of people are so you see how there's all those spaces I need to go through and cut them all out because time is important, especially on short form content. So I'm going to show you a few ways how to do this. First little trick I want to show you before we start is if you want to make the waveforms bigger, this is not going to affect the gain. This is just going to affect the, just the visual, you can click on this icon and it will make it bigger already. And you can drag, if you hold down and drag this sliding window, this knob, if you will, will pop up and you can just drag it bigger or smaller. And sometimes that just helps you visually see what's going on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this drag tool, this drag drop down, and I'm going to select shuffle left. So if I zoom in here, and I wanna quickly cut this out. What I'm gonna do is use my marquee tool. So I have my marquee on the second tool. I'm gonna to hold down command so it pops up. Just drag this, drag over the part that I want to delete. And now, watch closely, I'm gonna press delete. Bam, it moved everything over. Now I wanted to show you what would happen if this was on what it's typically on, no overlap, and I press delete it wouldn't move everything over. So we just have like, we'll have a bunch of spaces. So shimming to the left or shuffling to the left, as Logic calls it, is a pretty helpful tool when you are going through and deleting voiceover. So I just do bam, moves it over. Now I wanna delete this, hold down command, and then delete and it moves over. Another way you can quickly access your marquee tool, if you press command comma, to open up settings, go to general, go to editing, and then you select this marquee tool click zone. Now what happens is the bottom of the region, like if you split the region in half, the top part of the region is not going to show the marquee tool, but the bottom part is. So if I want to quickly just like head on the bottom, I could just do that, press delete. I want to delete this, I can press delete. So that's also pretty handy when I'm going through and like deleting a long voiceover. Now I want to show you another way to do this if you don't feel like using the marquee tool. I actually don't like my marquee tool there because it kind of gets annoying for me. So that's not the way that I prefer to work on a regular basis, but I might turn this on and off if I'm doing this procedure, procedure, operation, if you will. Sometimes it feels like an operation, don't it? Another way you can do this is highlight your audio, press control X. This window will pop up, which will remove silences. It kind of acts like a noise gate. You can adjust the threshold here of where it will break up the silences. And then you press OK. Now you're going to want to go through and listen to it because sometimes it will break up, take away more than you want it to take away. So let's listen here. Already lost. See how it kind of cut off the T? So I need that. Already lost. Oh. Great. So you could, it never deletes information. Like you can even drag out whatever you've recorded, whatever you cut, you can drag it out and never deletes the information, but it does kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So let's say you're happy with all of this, but you want to move all these spaces over Leaves. and they get just right. We want to get rid of all those spaces. Another little trick you can do is we're going to do option and you're going to want to add this bracket. So that's the bracket to shuffle to the left. And then this is to shuffle to the right. What I'm going to do is highlight everything. I'm going to press option and this bracket. And it's like the left facing bracket. It's like, doo, doo, doo. boom, moved it all over. If I were to zoom out to the end of my project so you can see it. If I were to do option the other bracket, select all option other bracket, it will move it all the way to the right. 
So that is a pretty handy little tool. Now you're also going to potentially want to add some fades, fades in and fades out in case there's any clicking or popping. And a really quick way to do this is if you, if you, I have it set so that if I hover over the left and right corners, the fades will just pop up so I can just select all and then have it until that little icon appears. And then I can just add a little quick fade. And the way you get that is by pressing command comma to open up settings, go to general, go to editing and make sure this fade tool click zone is checked off. So if it's not checked off, see that little icon doesn't appear. If it is checked off, it appears and I can just move it over. You can also take this region, kind of drag it out if you want to, or you can leave it over there. It doesn't matter if you X, it'll go back, but sometimes I like to drag it out so I can see it closer to the action, if you will. And I can just add a fade here, just like a slight fade and like a slight fade out ever so slightly. And hopefully that will eliminate any clipping, any pops and little weird clips in the audio. Okay. So another quick thing is if I highlight all of this, press J to join when I'm done, when I'm happy with it, then I can just drag this onto my desktop here and it basically bounced it. So that's really helpful. Now I want to show you a really quick tool. If you want to make your sound better using the goonies of AI, using AI goonies, the AI, but to be honest, like this is for a piece of content on TikTok and Instagram. And I don't want to spend a bunch of hours. Like I don't want to spend a bunch of time tweaking, mixing and mastering sometimes. And I find that this, these settings work really well. So if I'm in a pinch or wanting to do it or just feel like it, sometimes we could just feel like doing things. I will go to this website called a phonic. It's free basically, unless you use more than these and then you just drag your audio in there. So you could just like take it from your DAW and drag it in, but I've already done this for you all off camera. So I won't bore you with the process, click on it. And here it is. And I want to show you the difference of how it sounds. It really only took a couple of minutes. Like I said, if you are a master master, if you are a mastering and mixing master, you do not need this. But if you're like me and you're either lazy or just want to do it or just not that good yet. Sometimes I'm not that good yet. Whatever. We're moving on. We're not enough rambling. This is the difference of what it sounds like. If you don't believe in yourself, then you have already lost. A okay. And now this one. If you don't believe in yourself, then you have already lost. A lot of people are held back by negative self-beliefs and they get discouraged with their goals. So you can see like compressed things, did nice things, did all the nice things to make things nice. Anyways, I really hope this video was helpful. My mission is to make music production and entrepreneurship and creativity more accessible to more people. So it means the world to me that you guys are, have been watching my videos. I feel like in the last few months, I've been getting a little bit more traffic on this YouTube, which I have to give a huge shout out to my editor, Sean Daniel. Here he is. Give it up for him. Couldn't have done it without him. Couldn't have done it without you. Also, I've been seeing a bunch of you in the comments saying that you got my logic pro crash course and saying how much you liked it. If you want to get it, I'll put the link in the description and I'm really, really proud of this. Basically you can scroll through all the chapters, both on the iPad and on the computer, and you can click on the sections and it'll take you to that section. And then it'll, if you click on the title, and then open and then log into your account. It will take you to a video demoing how to do each thing in that chapter. And let me just show you really quickly on the computer. If you were going to be using a computer instead of your iPad, I really like having an iPad, but I know that it's a luxury and I'm not sure if it's even a necessary luxury, but I do, I do thoroughly enjoy it. I do. But then again, I'm an Apple girly, right? I have all the Apple stuff, except for the, the eye thing, the visor. I'm not, I'm not ready for that yet. 
it was a helmet, like a full on helmet and nobody had to see me and it could protect me from like, it was also like bulletproof. I'd be there for it, but I don't want just this, you know, like on my face. I want like a helmet, like a full on helmet that also doubles as like a bike helmet, a ski helmet. Nobody could recognize me, bulletproof and germ proof. That's what I would want. Anyways, back to my Logic Pro. So my Logic Pro crash course, ebook and video guide. So here it is. You can see all the chapters here. But if you click on this, let's say you want to go to Marquee Tools, it'll check you to Marquee Tool. If you click here, click open, bam, here it is. Now you can watch a video demoing every single thing in this chapter. Anyways, I really hope this helps. Please subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me that you're here. I will see you in the next video. Happy creating.